Hey guys, what's going on? Sincere here with WhoIsSincere.com and the All Rights Matter show. Listen, I got a quick little story for you here. It's trending on Facebook. American Nazi Party. Chairman of political group says Donald Trump win would be an opportunity. Okay. Now, I don't have to really say any more besides what you just heard right there. You have the American Nazi Party. First of all, we shouldn't have an American Nazi Party in America. We know what the Nazis were about. We know what they did. Um, It's not a secret. It's not anything that's, you know, hard to find. If you don't know what the Nazis did in Germany, I I don't know what kind of rock you've been living under or what kind of school you went to. But uh, it's very easy to know what the Nazis did. So for them to even be um, a political group, not just any kind of activist group, but a political group, that lets you know the state of this country, and it lets you know how this country really views terrorism. I see other groups of people that mean no harm to anybody. They're not out killing anybody, and they're definitely uh, on a terrorist watch list. Um, these guys here have a political group, so that that's that's my first issue with it. My second issue is this. Most people don't understand who Donald Trump is and why he's running in this election. So I'll just tell you really briefly. Donald Trump is friends with George Soros and Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton. Now, there is no reason in the world for Donald Trump to be meeting with George Soros, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton before the election season. But they're his friends. So that's what happens. Um, For all you people that are saying, hey, Black Lives Matter is funded by George Soros, well, uh, it comes down, uh, it comes down to this. Yes, there's George Soros money swirling all around Black Lives Matter and the political, uh, I'm sorry, the activist groups around Black Lives Matter. This is nothing new. Um, uh, Occupy Wall Street, all these other organizations, guess what? Same backer, same person, you know, that, that donates the money and puts the money in and you know, whether the media wants to report on it or not, it's there. You can do the research and actually go look into it. So uh, as far as a billionaire funding a group, it's nothing new. It's nothing new at all. What you guys have to understand is this. Back in the day, they had something called COINTELPRO. COINTELPRO infiltrated a lot of activist organizations around the United States and um, delivered a lot of information back to the government. So it... This is the same thing that you see going on uh, now, but it's happening from a billionaire standpoint. Okay, we're having a there's a war of billionaires that are that's going on right now. Now, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter to us which one of uh, these billionaires wins the war um, or what group of billionaires wins the war, whether it's the Koch brothers or, you know, whoever else. It, it, It doesn't matter. Um, both outcomes, whether it's Republican or whether it's Democrat, will be bad for us because these are corporatist parties. Donald Trump is not going to get in there uh, in a corporatist party and, you know, and make sure that they do the right thing. So that's what you need to understand about that. Um, You know, aside from uh, George Soros actively uh, funding organizations here in the United States, activist organizations, and being best friends, spending Christmas Eve with Donald Trump and his family, um, and, and being ver- really close friends with Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, and uh, the Clinton Global Initiative. Uh, you know, aside from all of these things happening, what George Soros is doing is he's overthrowing governments around the world. So when you think about what Soros is doing, and and where his hands have touched down in other parts of the world on an international level, then you can start to see that George Soros is probably actively helping or aiding in overthrowing this country as well. Why is that significant? That's significant for one reason, and I'm going to keep saying this until the time comes that I can't say it anymore. The 2016 elections are an illusion. You're only piece, your only little bit of small little piece of hope for opposition to any of this would have been Bernie Sanders, the person that is a a non-corporatist. He didn't take any kind of big donations from uh, the bankers or from uh, corporate entities or special interest groups, anything like that. So 
with that being said, Bernie has already conceded to Hillary Clinton. He's already agreed to vote for Hillary Clinton, and he's getting his, you know, his followers to try to do the same thing. Now, I'm not saying Bernie's a bad guy, but I'm saying something probably happened after he had that meeting with Barack Obama. He never once again said the word contested convention. I put a video up about that. As a matter of fact, that, that Friday after meeting Barack Obama, he went on two networks uh, when and this was just the Brexit vote had just came out that morning uh, in the United States. So the very same morning that the Brexit vote came out in the United States, Bernie Sanders was on two outlets and said that he would vote for Hillary Clinton. It went why it went under the radar for you know quite some time, and this happened in June. So I put out a video showing where he's saying you know he's going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Now this is. You know, this is what he had to do, so I understand it. I was a little bit pissed about it at first, but I actually understand it now, and especially if they threatened his family. I don't know what they threatened him with. I don't know, you know, what they did, but they took him away from his uh, his normally moral, morally centered position and moved him over in all the way into the Democratic Party, the longest running independent person um, that we've had in our Congress. They've moved him over, literally, to the to the Democratic Corporatist Party, and, and that's directly after meeting Barack Obama, or meeting with Barack Obama at the White House. So that was our that was our only way that we would have had a chance against Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. With that being said, um, I don't know about Jill Stein. Uh, I don't know about. Uh, uh, Gary Johnson, I, I, these these people don't have a real shot of winning. Neither one of these people have a real shot of winning. I, I like a lot of what Jill Stein has to say. Um, some things I'm I'm definitely on the fence about. Uh, don't like really too much of what Gary Johnson has to say, um, and that's kind of where I am with it right now. So I can't tell you which way to vote. I can't do that. But what I can do is tell you that this is a scheme that is running right now. Donald Trump has never been a Republican, okay? He has never been a Republican. He has never been a long-standing Republican. Sure, he's uh, supported a couple of Republicans from time to time, but he has mainly supported a ton, a ton of liberals, a ton of Democrats, a ton of progressives. That's what he's done his whole life because he's been able to get what he wants out of that party his whole life. Now, is that saying that, oh, well, you know, now he can't change his mind and he can't run uh, on a different platform? No, it's not saying that at all. But when you don't understand the platform you're running on, you don't understand the Constitution, you don't understand any kind of principled values from the Bible, which the conservative party, um, you know, call it what you will, they're Bible thumpers. But you see no mention of the Bible anymore in the conservative party. Um, you don't see any of the conservative party values anymore. And that's my point, is Donald Trump is simply running in the Republican Party under the direction of George Soros with the knowledge of Hillary and Bill Clinton as a distraction. He is the front running man because right now all the crazies, all the racists, all the everybody that has hatred in their heart and blood, everybody that has a lust for money over principled values, gets to follow this maniacal leader. Now, what does that do to the core value system of the Republican Party? I will tell you, it destroys it. After this election, if Donald Trump does not win, in which it doesn't matter to, like I said, to the corporate elite, whether he wins or whether he doesn't win, they're still going to have one of their puppets in, whether it's going to be Trump or whether it's going to be Hillary. Doesn't matter. Okay? So whether he wins or whether he doesn't win, they, they're going to have what they want. So after this election, though, um, if Donald Trump does win, if he does win, this is what he will open the door to. American Nazi parties. 
Now, has Donald Trump denounced uh, the, the, the Nazi affiliation and um, people like David Duke? Sure he has. But his rhetoric does not denounce any of the racist attributes that have been uh, placed upon his name during this election season. There are so many clips. There is so much information out there now that shows that his sensitivities towards minority populations are not where they're supposed to be uh, in the 21st century. It's just not where they're supposed to be, okay? So with that being said, I'm trying to open you, your eyes up, guys, to let you know that this is all a ruse. This is all fake. You know, you think that you're, you're putting up arguments for Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton and Hillary Clinton for over Donald Trump. You guys don't realize you're getting the same corporate structure. You're either going to be enslaved by Republicans or you're going to be enslaved by Democrats. And that's what you should be standing up against is the fact that your media works with your government and works with your corporations. They're working as a fascist regime already to deliver the results that they want, not what you truly want, what they want. What they understand about marketing is how to affect your mind. What they understand about marketing is how to continually expose you to two people, Hillary or Donald, so that you will not think of other choices and decisions. Many of you watching this have never heard of Dr. Jill Stein or Gary Johnson. And that's sad. MSNBC, nothing. Fox, nothing. Very few mentions, if at all. CNN, same thing. You can go right down the list for all the mainstream media. So I would advise you guys to do your research. Um, do not vote for Democrats or Republicans this election. Find, your somebody, find yourself somebody that's running outside of the boundaries of this two-party system. Will that person win? Very likely, no. But if you're going to make a moral, conscious decision with your vote, if your vote really, truly counts, if it really, truly matters, you won't vote for a fascist, for some totalitarian guy that, you know, has no sensitivities towards any minority-based group of people here in the United States. And you won't vote for a lady who runs around destroying the world. Okay? It's already bad that her husband has, you know, several rape cases against him. Um, but also, if you look on Donald Trump's side, if you need another reason not to vote for the guy, he's currently in a rape lawsuit right now. And this happened before he actually ran for president, put in his bid to, to run for the Republican Party. So it was just reopened again. Because it happened just a few years ago, they closed it out, so the person in another state reopened again. So this isn't just because Donald is running for president um, or just because he's rich. If you go read the PDF documents of the actual court files, the actual paperwork that was filed uh, on behalf of two of these women uh, that had made claims now, his wife and another lady that used to work for him, you can clearly see you can clearly see that these women uh, were sexually assaulted and raped. You can read it and, and clearly see And Now, once he pays a settlement out to them, which one of them did admit that a settlement was paid, uh, the one that wasn't his wife, uh, Jill Harth is her name. Once, once that is actually, uh, once that settlement is paid, they both change their tune. They both change their tune. Oh, um... I'm going to backtrack it a little bit, but Jill Harth actually just reopened her situation because um, she didn't appreciate being called a liar by Donald Trump throughout the media, even though she went to one of his rallies with some of her friends um, who were supposedly Donald Trump fans, and supposedly she had put the past behind her, but and actually talked to Donald Trump at this rally. Um, and he said, okay, you know, there, she's not going to bring it up. He's not going to bring it up. If she's asked about it, she'll say good things and he would do the same. That's actually, that's not what happened. She got upset and she went and lawyered up because he called her a liar and said that her, her claims were, the, were without merit when she actually just dismissed them because of the settlement. 
So that's what we're talking about here, guys. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about leaders that have been hand-selected for you. We're talking about an American coup that is happening right under your eyes, right under your noses, right on your, your home turf, right here in America. And most people don't want to focus on it because it's not convenient. It doesn't give them anything to argue about. And that's the point. You don't have to sit here and argue uh, the lesser of two evils. They're both evil. They're both trash. And they'll, they'll both trash this country. Now, the only thing that's really set up for Hillary Clinton's favor is that she, Hillary Clinton runs the uh, Global Citizens Initiative. Uh, she likes to. She doesn't like to correlate herself with it, but there's also a Global Citizens Festival. I'll, I'll tell you to check out September 24th. Uh, that'll be in Central Park, I believe, in New York. So you're, you're going to want to check that out. Well, they'll be giving out Global Citizens Awards and stuff like that. The same kind of Global Citizens Awards that her foundation gives out. So the establishment has already amped Hillary up to this point. They've been doing it for years now, and I've been reporting on it for quite some time. Um, so that's why I don't think Donald Trump is really going to win. I think he's going to get very close. But I don't think he's going to win. I don't think they want it to exactly be that way. But they don't mind if it does happen to be that way because they can still have their way with Donnie. Okay? So the man is not a billionaire. Um, all of his properties, all of them, are leveraged by banks. Meaning he's in debt to banks. And on a good day, Donnie is probably not even clearing over a half a billion dollars. Now, that's a lot more than me or you have, but it's very far from his claims of uh, $10 billion. And as a deposition was actually released uh, recently that, you know, he was asked, you know, what do you base your wealth on? And in the deposition, he was quoted as saying, um, he bases it, bases, it, bases it on his feelings, pretty much on his feelings. So this guy's been lying to you the whole time. All right. He's been spewing hatred and rhetoric and uh, all kinds of demagoguery this whole election cycle. But it has not been for just no reason. It's been for a very particular reason. He was the man designed for this moment. You were really listening to how he really feels. But he's not going to tell you what his actions truly will be. Now, you can go to Twitter and kind of figure out, you know, uh, how well he is at holding his temper, if you will. And, and, how ho uh, and how classy he would be as a president. I don't need politically correct. I just need somebody that can stand on the world stage and be a professional. And this is something that the man is, is not capable of doing with words. He's not a professional with words. And unless you want the establishment to write his speeches, then you're going to get the Donald that you get. Donald Trump's not going to sit down and write a good speech. That's why somebody else wrote the art of the deal. So that's what I'm telling you about the Trump presidency. It is, it's not going to be a successful one. It's going to end in this. American Nazis are going to be happy about this. We're going to get a lot of people in office that will be uh, very racist. There's a guy that was just running down here, Grant Starrett. And, you know, you can't get any worse than these kind of guys that are coming out of the woodwork now. These guys that are trust fund babies and stuff like this, but they're trying to proclaim that they are literally um, uh, uh, centered Republicans. You got to watch what's going on in these local arrest, uh, elections. <laughs> That's funny. Local elections around the country. You have to really watch what's happened, happening right now. Okay, guys, so I've talked enough. Um, I just wanted to show you this and share this with you, um, what the American Nazi Party is actually saying. I wanted to let you guys know, hey, look, you know, we can't get this guy in there. Um, don't vote for Hillary either. I can't tell you to do that either. I just consciously can't can't do that. I mean, it's it's wrong. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, vote your conscience. <laughs> vote your conscience. Just just like uh, 
what's his name? The Republican. Um, I actually interviewed him. Um, oh boy, what's the the second Republican? Oh, Cruz. There you go. Just like Cruz said, vote your conscience, and that's what you should be doing anyway. He's not telling you anything wrong. Vote your morality over your party. If you vote your party this election, you're signing that certificate that says, I agree with corporatist control, corruption. I want you to federalize my lands. And um, I want you guys to uh, suck up the rest of the resources that are meant for the people while giving us nothing. That's what you're agreeing to. So, and if you don't believe me, go look at uh, Trump's position on, on uh, federalizing public lands. You can just look at that alone and, and see where he's going. All right, guys, that's enough for me. I hope it's enough for you. Um, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel here, whoissincere.com. Make sure you go to the website. Um, also, in the description section below, make sure you uh, uh, click on the link to go ahead and download my app. I'm going to be starting the All Rights Matter show back up soon. Um, we're going to be coming out with a brand new website on allrightsmatter.com. I want you guys to be ready. I want you guys to be prepared. We're about to do some amazing things. So get ready, guys. It's time to bring some uh, awareness to the situation. And I want you guys along for the ride. So make sure you share, like, subscribe, and get this information out to everybody that you can think of to let them know this is all deception. Take care.